Take a look at this video. This is what Bamberg looked like three months ago. A very different picture to show you today, though. The damage that was left behind by a tornado has now been cleared yesterday. A main highway in Bamberg reopened after being closed for more than 90 days and businesses are excited tonight. The traffic is flowing through downtown again. This after an EF2 tornado destroyed those buildings. News 19's Victoria Samuels is live in Bamberg now on Main Highway. Victoria, what a huge difference between what we're seeing today and what this area looked like about three months ago. Yes, Darcy, it is mind blowing. As you can remember from those pictures you just showed, those buildings were completely destroyed. And now, as you can see, SCDOT and the city of Bamberg have been working with civic engineers to make sure that those buildings came down safely. You're seeing some rocks, you're seeing some concrete, you're seeing some dirt. And the people are just so excited that that rubble especially has been cleared out of main highway. As you can see behind me, the traffic is just flowing through beautifully. Everyone is so excited. I, was, I had a chance to speak with businesses and locals about what this means to them. Well, now it's getting ready to be summertime, and a lot of people coming through, coming from Savannah, or they're getting off on 95, coming to back roads. It's really nice to see people getting out more. Paula Dice Hutchins owns Paula's Family Restaurant on Main Highway. The tornado in January caused the road to be closed for three months. Many of her customers are out of town travelers who use Main Highway to pass through. Now that they opened up, we have a lot more people. They know that I'm here now and they know that I'm up and going and um, yeah, we just have a lot of traffic, which I love. Yeah, we've been waiting on it for two months, so it's finally here. Rhonda Stevenson lives in Nieces and travels to Bamberg often. She says having Main Highway open again makes things easier. It means a lot because you would have had to go all around just back streets just to get here because you couldn't get through because of all the bricks and everything in the road. But it's much better because I'm telling you it was hard to get through and people that just not from around here didn't know how to manage to get through, you know. Cindy Williams lives in Columbia and says she is glad to see the bricks that once sat on the street all cleared up. They had a lot of nice antique stores and older stores right on the main street and it's easier to get to now. It took them long enough and I'm glad it's finally gone. <laughs> Henry Cassetta is the team lead for the U.S. Small Business Administration Declaration in Bamberg. He says the turnout they have received has been historical. We've been solid packed every day from the time we open to the time we close. And it's been a big cross section. We, it's not like we're just seeing businesses or homeowners. We're seeing everybody across the board, ages, demographic. It's great. It's great. It's phenomenal. Um, it's one of the best turnouts I've seen and a declaration. It's fantastic. Now the U.S. Small Business Administration closed their relief center here in Bamberg around an hour ago at 430. However, those who qualify and those who were affected by the tornadoes in January can still go on the website and try to get relief. That will be listed on our WLTX website in Bamberg. Victoria Samuels, News 19, WLTX.